Good morning from Alpha Cars. My name is Tom, coming to you from our Northampton location, and today I'm excited to share with you this recent arrival at the dealership. Today we'll be looking at a 2011 Porsche Cayenne S. This Cayenne S is currently showing just over 87,000 original miles, and if you would like to see a high-resolution, detailed photo set, please reference the listing at alphacars.com. There, of course, you will also find a free included Carfax report, alongside a long list of technical data related to the vehicle's remaining tire and brake life, as well as individual readings from each panel using our paint depth gauge. But today I'll take you on a quick condition overview around both the interior and the exterior of the Cayenne, as well as showing you some of the more interesting features. But of course, starting here on the exterior, we'll take a look at the condition. You can see the paint is finished in this nice, just straight black, not a whole lot of metallic to talk about. It's in nice condition, as you can see. Hood looks great, even though we don't have the benefit of direct sunlight today. And as usual, I'll take you really close to the panel to look out for any dings, dents, or scratching. You can see a very small nick there on the fender, pretty hard to notice. As we pass the driver's door, you'll notice nice condition, with the exception of this small ding in the body line just there. Carrying back to the rear door, it looks very nice, aside from a couple small imperfections. And the third quarter panel looks nice as well here in the back, aside from a couple small scratches. And again, with about 87,000 miles on this vehicle, you would expect to see some small imperfections. However, as you can see, the overall appearance here on the driver's side is very nice. Now looking here at the wheels, we do have these 19-inch split five-spoke wheels. They present very nicely in that silver finish. I think matches beautifully with the contrast of that machined metal trim all around your windows. You can see the wheels are free of any curb rash. You do have some minor wear on the emblem there in the center. And these tires are in great condition on all four corners. Looking here at the front, again, another nice wheel. And you can see some massive brakes hidden just behind those wheels. Now, looking here at the front fascia, it is in nice condition and where you may notice a few imperfections, like you'll see some small scratches there and on this bottom corner, this entire front end is actually wrapped in paint protection film. So all of these issues, though they do appear to be damage on the paint, are actually just the PPF doing its job very well. Underneath, that paint has been protected and if this PPF were removed, you would see the paint is in great shape underneath. Even this, which appears to be a clear coat issue, is just a small chip in the PPF, and as you can see, it did its job great. The underlying paint is in fantastic condition. So looking aside of those problems, you'll see it actually looks very nice up here at the front. All of the black plastic has a nice deep shine to it. Both headlight lenses are crystal clear with no signs of oxidation, discoloration, or major scratching. Same goes for the fog light housings just there below. It does present very nicely. And as I mentioned, the paint underneath is in great shape, as is the hood, as you can see. Now here on the passenger side of the vehicle, we'll take a look again, really close to the panel, looking at any dings, dents, or scratches, any irregularities in the light reflection. And as you can see, there's one just here. Small ding, if you can even spot that. Pretty tricky to pick it up on camera, though I can assure you it is a very small ding. And here on the third quarter panel, it looks nice as well. Quick tour of the wheels here. As you can see, nice shape here in the back. Again, a little bit of wear on those Porsche emblems here, but they are in good shape. Now take a look here at the rear of the vehicle. You'll see that nice contrast again in the Porsche badging. Of course, being an S, this is slightly more sporty than the traditional regular Cayenne model, and we'll cover that as we make our way to the engine bay. And take a look, you have some more silver trim and another bumper which appears to have some scratches however as you can see from this line here it does have that ppf completely covering the panel which is protecting that paint underneath just below that bumper cover you do have a nice black plastic diffuser panel flanked by two silver exhaust tips that really bring together that contrast around the exterior of the vehicle so next up let's make our way to the interior where you'll find a similar theme a lot of black and silver accents You'll find the seating arrangements in very nice shape. You can see no wear on the outer bolster where you would expect to find it. And just slight wear there on the back of the lower bolster. Passenger seat is in great condition as well. So we'll make our way inside a nice solid thud when you close that door. Of course, this is peak Porsche build quality. It's a very attractive interior in here. 
Now, of course, Porsche ignition is here on the left. We'll insert that key fob and fire it up. You can see it fires up without any hesitation and no strange warning lights to report. It's just flashing the seat belt reminder for me. If I clear that out, you can see you do have the single screen in the gauge cluster where you can access many different functions. Look at your tire pressures, look at your engine specs, your current radio, and a full color map display there, which is nice to have as well. Dashboard is in great condition, no issues there. You can see throughout the center console, you do have some more of that piano black and silver contrast. PCM screen, perfect shape. As you can see, some of these on the used market will be worn down or scratched uh, or kind of have some glitchy pixels. However, not the case here. Presents very nicely and functions exactly as it should. Steering wheel is just the same. You can see the controls are all in great shape. None of those buttons have gone sticky or worn out. Steering wheel is in this nice leather wrap with some aggressive bolstering. Really feels like a sporty wheel in the hand. This is the same wheel you'll find in many of Porsche's sportier models. And you do have your gear selector tabs just here. They're not quite paddles, but they do have one-handed operation, which you might find convenient when you're rolling through the gears and don't want to have to have two hands at 10 and 2. So as you can see here, passenger side of the dash, you have some more of that piano black and silver contrast, which carries onto both of these door panels. And here you can see your window controls just there. All those switches still have their little chrome trim. You'll find on the used market, a lot of these will have come apart or fallen off. Um, in this vehicle, not the case. And as you can see here, center console looks very nice. All the switches are intact perfectly. Heated seats work fantastic in this car. You do have some drivetrain controls here and a couple of grab handles for you or your passenger if the going gets a bit rough because this is, despite being a luxury vehicle, it is extremely capable when the going does get tough. Above my head here, you have a nice sunroof operated by this control panel just above my head and a nice big center console armrest with some storage just there. But next up, let's make our way up underneath the hood where we can take a look at what powers the Cayenne S. So as you can see here, I've popped the hood so we can take a look at the gorgeous 4.8 liter V8. This engine is exceedingly smooth and producing 400 horsepower, which is a very impressive figure and is enough to propel this vehicle to highway speeds very quickly and in the smoothest way possible. As you can see, actually a lot of access here under the hood. All you have to do is remove a couple panels and you can get all around this engine, uh, which is usually an issue when you have a bigger engine and a smaller engine bay. However, this is bigger than it first appears uh, when you open the hood. It actually makes maintenance a bit easier for you. As you can see, it's very clean. All of the plastic's shining very nicely. You can see all the reservoirs look great as well. Underneath the hood is just the same. You won't find any signs of corrosion on this vehicle. You can hear it's idling very smooth. I'll let you listen for a moment. And as I mentioned, the real party piece of this engine is just how smooth the power is delivered to the wheels. Uh, it's fantastic and mated with that beautiful transmission. As we know, Porsche is pretty much the best in the market for their transmissions. Uh, when it all comes together, it's just a fantastic driving experience. Looking here at the second row of seating you'll find it all to be in nice condition and equally well appointed i can sit behind the driver's seat where i would comfortably drive the vehicle and as you can see being six foot four sitting behind a six foot four adult i still have plenty of leg room and plenty of headroom as well i do have some climate vents just for me back here and a very nice view of that gorgeous interior in the front lastly we'll take a look here at the cargo area one touch operation is going to open up that whole tailgate. You do have some nice chrome trim there at the entrance of the cargo area. A nice big protective rubber floor mat as well as all of the original carpets just there. And these seats can be folded down for a bit of extra storage. Again, one touch operation on the button there. We'll drop the tailgate down, latching perfectly as you can see. So if you have any further questions related to this gorgeous 2011 Cayenne S, please reference the listing at alphacars.com and there you will find all of the relevant contact information. Thank you so much for your time and have a wonderful rest of your day. We hope to hear from you soon. Thank you from Alpha Cars.